Please, Bishop. Fast review. Yeah. So um, you asked about, you know, what's needed. And the first things I thought of were direction, guidance, discernment is what I am trying to provide people who are trying to make some really hard decisions on the ground. We are looking at what are our congregations going to be looking like as we come out on the other side of this pandemic. We are clear that we don't want to go back to the old normal because that wasn't working for a whole bunch of people anyway. And we needed a reset um, just in the way our society cares for its most vulnerable. And now we're being shown, it's being shown up for what it's like we've always known it to be. So, you know, we have kind of been using this time in quarantine, I think, to marshal up our spiritual forces. We have been praying together as a community dispersed across the, the state and gathering folks from across the country to pray twice a day. We have a tradition in our Episcopal Church of doing the daily office, which is a morning, noon, and evening in Compline prayer time. So we, we gather twice a day as a community on Facebook to do that. And we're learning how to worship in different ways. And there are things that we're learning about how to be together now, which I think will hold us in good stead as we move beyond um, Easter, as we move beyond quarantine, because there is real work to do. And we have people who are trying to we think how we do our feeding ministries. We have essential programming for medical help for people in communities that don't have it for feeding ministries. Vulnerable. Feeding, min feeding ministries and, and pantries have been Pantry, exactly. We, you know, we are, you know, we've got churches in these in some hard places where folks are counting on, you know, 150 people show up at a door every Wednesday looking for a meal. And, you know, we've got to find ways to continue those. And because the economy is in such dire straits, those needs are only going to increase. So looking at once we're beginning to able to gather again, even in smaller numbers, it's like boots on the ground, getting folks to be able to serve and to know why we're doing it. And so if there's anything that this pa pandemic has taught us, I think, is that we need real spiritual formation and grounding for yeah. living the gospel. And the gospel is hard work and it takes everybody. And we're trying to get ourselves ready for that. And so it's a really difficult time. It's a depressing time in many ways. We're looking at how do we do funerals for masses of people who need to yes. be buried appropriately. And mm -hmm. so um, the word is discernment and guidance so that we can be ready to respond. And it's now.